What's going on guys, T-Mart here and today I am very excited to bring you guys some gameplay of the brand new MX Grand in Black Ops 3. Yes, that's right guys, I'm one of the first people in the world to have this gameplay for you guys. Thumbs up if you're excited. This is one of the new weapons that you can now get out of supply drops in Black Ops 3. So this thing is an old classic. If you didn't play Call of Duty World at War, it was one of the semi-auto rifles in that game. And uh, man, does this thing bring back good memories. Now, uh, like I said, this thing is a semi-auto rifle, which means it's going to be very, very accurate. It's a marksman rifle. You want to be as accurate as possible because this thing packs a punch. It's got a lot of damage. It actually takes people down in just two shots. So uh, what does this sound like? It sounds like the Shiva that we already have in the game. But there is a big catch. So the difference between this weapon and the Shiva is that this weapon has a much higher fire rate. Is that this weapon has a much higher fire rate, but in turn has a much smaller ammo capacity. So the magazine on the Shiva holds 20 rounds, which is a lot, especially if you're killing people in two shots. As you guys can see, the clip on this weapon only holds eight rounds, which is a big, big, big difference. Usually for each person, you're gonna shoot like three to five shots to be able to take somebody down unless you're being you know super super accurate and you're really feeling on so usually it's going to take you know three to five shots per person so that really changes things with this weapon now you can't shoot it a lot faster so it's going to take people down a lot quicker than the shiva will it's going to be you know extremely extremely powerful even at close ranges because you just you know two quick taps of the trigger if you land those shots you're going to take somebody down which is great but you're also going to have to reload a lot more, and you're not going to be as effective in multiple enemy situations as you guys are going to see in this gameplay. Now, granted, I am going to say my aim's not that great in this gameplay. I forgot to bring a control freak to the capture event, and I didn't have my scuff. The scuff doesn't really have to do anything with aim, but my, I didn't have my control freak, which actually does. So, you know, anyway, in general, usually with this weapon, you're going to get like one to two, possibly three kills with the magazine in most situations unless you're just an absolute god and every single shot hits so you know one to two kills three is going to be a little bit of a stretch four is probably rarely ever going to happen so you just have to keep that in mind like it's not it's not something you're going to be able to you know be able to take people out and still have a lot in reserves and, and be able to take on multiple enemies it's more of like you really have to get yourself in singular gunfights with this thing and take people on one by one that's definitely going to be the uh the best option the best strategy so uh, i just i think this thing is is pretty good you know i think it's definitely going to be one of the best guns in multiplayer i don't think it's overpowered by any means but it's definitely going to be up there in terms of the the most useful guns like it's just like it's a lot of fun to use and it's very very effective if you use it correctly and uh, it's just it's really enjoyable so like a lot of these like futuristic fully auto weapons and stuff like that it's it's hard to explain but you don't really feel like the the punch that they pack you know what i mean like it just it seems like you're you know i don't know i i, I hope you guys understand what i'm saying i'm having a hard time explaining it but the m1 garand it's just it's got a really solid punch to it when you shoot it like you feel like you're really shooting a very very powerful weapon and it's even got that like classic call of duty ping sound when you reload. Listen to this. Oh man, that's like my favorite sound in the world. It just, it, it sounds so good. So uh, yeah, there you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is a first look at the MX Garand in Black Ops 3. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button and make sure you guys check out all of these videos right here. I literally just uploaded eight videos to my channel, all of new weapons, new camos, new melees, you know, all kinds of stuff. Make sure you guys check those out. And uh, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.